So, I've had an issue for quite a while now, quite a long time. And I just don't know how I was going to fix it. Because it's quite technical, to be honest. And I'd have to take things apart to fix it. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to take it apart. I'd have to completely replace it. And if you follow my videos and my Instagram, you pretty much have seen my issue. <laughs> and it's my laptop overheating. It stops me doing a lot of videos. And it doesn't just stop them, it delays them quite a lot. To the point where I've got pictures on Instagram of me hanging my laptop out of windows to get the cool air going into it and cool it down. And what else have I had to do? I have to lift it up quite a lot as well sometimes. Put things underneath to stop the, the surface that it's sitting on touching the actual base of the laptop. I've actually noticed there's a, a little nubbly bit that's taken out of one of the corners. I'll show you in the next video of uh, me unveiling my actual... It's quite a good thing I've done, to be honest. How I've dealt with it, how I've uh, fixed the problem. And it costs, in the UK, it cost me six pounds. And it's almost similar to me hanging my laptop out the window. Uh, so, here it is. Here's the fucking beauty. Look at it. It's fucking gorgeous. And it is only £6. So you can see it plugs into the USB. And uh, I'll give you a little demo now. My laptop is actually running right now. Uh, it, it what's weird is I don't know if it happens to every laptop but once I switch my laptop off it's still powered I know on this laptop I've got the the yellow USB there and I've got a simple normal one but the yellow one I was told is actually a powered USB so um, you can actually adjust the angle as well which is quite cool Look at that. So what you do, or what I do is, I put it nice, it doesn't have to be too close because you obviously just want a nice little airflow. And it's got a switch on the back. And it's not even that noisy to be honest. That's just my emails going off there. But... Uh, Get that back up. So that is how I fix my issue. It keeps it lovely and cool. Like I says in the little description, you can actually see. I don't know if you can, but on the bottom of this laptop, this side is touching the table, but on this very corner, there's a, like a gap to about there. The next contact point is there, and that one is slightly raised to give the vent more more cooling space. I don't know if all laptops do that, but this one does. And look, it's just happily flowing away. Uh, I'll give a little example. Uh, I can feel it, the breeze there still. It is nice and firm going in there now. It's going to keep it very cool. And it only costs six pounds from Wilkinson's in the UK. I bet you can buy other ones, but this one looks so. It looks just uh, great. I mean, you can tilt it everywhere. Because I'm using one hand, it's quite tough, but. That's it. Tilt it up. And then uh, aim it for the vent. And that is how I have solved my overheating problem from when I want to edit my videos so I thought I'd just give that little share with you give you an idea of what you could uh, if you have the same sort of problem you, I don't know if it's just these laptops the Lenovo uh, ThinkPad series if that's what they do they uh, 
they overheat quite easily but not easily it's only when I edit the videos so thanks for watching give me a comment on what you think I mean it's obviously cheaper than actually you can't really do anything I don't think to stop the overheating apart from there's nothing you can change internally so this was just a simple fix for when I want to edit my videos so give me your thoughts if you were uh, looking to do the same sort of thing and leave me a comment thanks for watching ciao